Now there's something you wouldn't have seen before the war. A Jeep hauling a DC-4. Of course, we've had four-motored planes before, but there's never been anything before like the Jeep. The four-wheel drive Jeep was born in the war, but it too was converted to civilian life. The new universal Jeep is stronger and better than ever, any way you look at it. From easy riding spring cushion seats to a stronger, more durable chassis. From a worm's eye view, we find a heavier frame, heavier rear axle, bigger clutch, bigger transmission, bigger transfer case, bigger ring gear and pinion in the rear differential, heavier springs, and new improved steering. An outstanding optional feature is this engine speed control governor, which now gives the Jeep all the basic operations of a tractor. Three highly efficient power takeoffs, plus this special governor, enables the Jeep to do better belt and power work than lots of heavier equipment. A quick illustration of this. Anyone who has done much sawing with a power takeoff will recognize this sound when the going gets heavy. Hear it stall? Now, with the same saw, on the same job, let's substitute Jeep power. Not only does the unusually sensitive governor give positive control, but it automatically provides more power when more power is needed. Listen. Hear that? When the saw starts to bog down, the power steps up and on we go. That's more than many heavier jobs will do. How the astounding new Jeep has been received. The first year, Willie's planned to build 12,000. That year, the public demanded 72,000. Never before has any new motor vehicle had such instant and wide acceptance. Realizing what they had, Willie's Overland took their revolutionary principle and extended it to a four-wheel drive station wagon. In place of the 80-inch wheelbase of the Jeep, they engineered a new and equally sturdy chassis with a 104-inch wheelbase and standard tread. On this, they built the first all-steel, four-wheel drive station wagon. The only station wagon with four-wheel drive. Able to get through either on or off the highway without chains in all kinds of weather. Then they made another, still bigger truck-type chassis with a 118-inch wheelbase and still heavier rear axle. And on this built the four-wheel drive Jeep truck. All four-wheel drive and the only four-wheel drives in their fields. Then, based on the same functional design, they developed a series of conventional two-wheel drive vehicles. The all-steel Willys station wagon, the Willys panel delivery, and the Jeep pickup truck. Every one of these widely different types was developed by veteran automotive engineers for a different, specific purpose. America's most useful vehicles. In the next few minutes, we're going to show you a few of the hundreds of uses to which industry is putting them. Towing planes at airports, loading baggage, carrying pilots and crews around. In the wintertime, clearing the snow off runways. Cities clear streets, farmers open roads the same way. Want to tile an airport or golf course? Lay a pipeline or cable? Dig a trench for a house foundation? The Jeepa trench is the only ditching machine on pneumatic tires. It can run and work over a nice lawn without tearing it all up. At the same time, with its four-wheel drive, it can go anywhere you need it. The Jeepa trench will dig a trench up to five feet deep at rates up to 300 feet per hour and at a cost of around a cent a foot. Think of that. Three hours will dig the foundation for an ordinary size house, a saving of four full eight-hour days for a man and shovel. It will work by itself. This operator has set the machine for the correct depth and is enjoying an apple while the Jeepa trench keeps right on digging. When finished, the operator raises the digger to transport position and the unit is ready to move on to the next job in a hurry. The universal Jeep's ability to get around and handle implements with the Monroe hydraulic lift comes in handy in many ways. Here a highway department is clearing roadside ditches. Or the grass cutting may be such that a gang mower may be used, as on a golf course campus or city park. Its lightness and its rubber tires make it ideal for working over lawns. It is practical in cemeteries, where with trailers they haul sand, stone, vaults and burial equipment. They use them every hour of the day in setting markers and general caretaking work around the grounds. The Jeep is used with a sprayer in many different ways, for mosquito control in swamps, 
city parks and outdoor theaters. By railroad maintenance crews to cut down fire hazard by killing grass and weeds along the tracks. By the forestry service to smother small fires before they can become big ones. And on the opposite hand, by citrus growers to protect their trees from frost. A compressor mounted on a jeep that is able to go any place is essential for various kind of contractors, furnishing power for air hammers, air drills, and so on. In the oil industry, the jeep fits right in as though it had been invented just for that. The surveyors and crews can now ride where they used to have to go on foot and pack their rods, gravity meters, and other implements of exploration. In repairing pipelines, the jeep really shines. With a general electric arc welder mounted in the bed of a jeep and operated from the power takeoff, the crews can go anywhere the work is regardless of the terrain or the weather. Of course, it is constantly used as a personnel carrier. Pumpers, switchers, and assistant foremen, men who have to visit scattered wells or storage tanks on regular rounds several times daily, checking flows, gathering meter charts, and so forth. Well, they say they never had it so good. It saves them hours and miles of walking. Jeeps are used around refineries, and then where the gas and oil meet the motoring public, at the service stations. There you will find them as service trucks. But let one of the operators tell you what he told me. When I took this place over, we didn't have any service truck. One day a customer called me and wanted a battery. I told him if he'd come in, I'd be glad to put one in for him. He said, uh, if I could come in, I'd be there, wouldn't I? Can't you come out and get me or bring me a battery? I told him I was sorry. But he interrupted with, uh, I thought you ran a service station. I said, I do. He said, oh, no, you don't. You've just got a filling station. And with that, he hung up. Well, uh, that got me to thinking. A truck wasn't practical for my operation. I tried my car, but uh, that didn't fill the bill either. Then I saw one of the telephone company jeeps the construction gangs were using to get around, carry their tools, pull their wires along the road or across country. And I said, jeepers, that's just what I need. And that's what I got. A jeep. Bill's bringing it in now. We use it for everything. Tow car, wrecker, or pusher for starting cars, road repair car. We carry the tools and equipment to fix a man up on the road. With the power takeoff, we can operate a compressor unit. Take the air with us. With the snow plow, we keep our driveways open in winter and open driveways for customers. We did enough of that so the Jeep paid for itself the first winter we had it. We can go any place, any time, through mud or snowdrifts. And it's so easy to maneuver that we can work in close quarters. It does the kind of extra jobs that mean extra money. You really have increased your sales then? I'll say. And the point is, the extra sales have been in tires, batteries, and things like that, where the money is. You don't get rich just uh, pumping gas, you know. I know you're busy, so thanks for talking to us. It's okay. You have probably noticed yourself how many Jeeps there are on the streets today. But notice how many different ways they are being used. There seems to be something about the Jeep that brings out the inventive spirit in men. They're all the time dreaming up new uses. But notice also how the other Willys vehicles are appearing in all manner of industrial and commercial enterprises. Take the Willys panel delivery ideally suited for retail businesses like this bakery or this dry cleaner. Any truck that has to stop and start often and weave in and out of traffic all day. Notice the height in that spacious all-steel body. Jumbo stand open doors are an added convenience in loading and delivery and will take bulky loads others can't handle. Like the other members of the line, it has an arresting personality. Its modern, handsome appearance is considered an asset as a merchandiser.